Hello, this is for my YouTubers that had a tummy tuck or are looking into one. This is me now. I had mine in March of 2009. I'm still working on it. I'm still trying to get my body right. It is hard work and dedication, but this video is not about that. It's more or less about me coloring this hair. All right, thank you for watching. Let me tell you, it does feel good to have one done because you can tuck your things in, wear a onesie, and you feel good about yourself. So continue to stay on that journey if you're going for it. Hey YouTube, it's been a while since I did a hair video. I know everybody would like to know what's going on with my stomach and my back. Everything looks great. I'll have to show y'all on another video. But right now, I'm trying to color my hair because I'm sick of this blue. I'm looking ashy. So, right now, I'm just trying to bleach this brown. I mean, this black out to get a new color. It's with a struggle, it's going to get this blue faded out from Provana. Okay? Now, I went to Sally's and I went and picked up. Sorry. I should be more prepared. This right here, you just use warm water to pull out this blue because I'm trying to go for something different. And right now I just have like a, some color charm lifter on the ends with a 50 volume. So it's been on for maybe six minutes and it's already changed. But I'm about to rinse it out because I don't want to damage it. But I need to get this blue out. But I want to let y'all know what's going on with me. Your girl awesome. Been busy. You can't see me. I got my pajamas. But I'll come back and show y'all in a little bit. Excuse the way I look. Thank y'all for all y'all support still. And like I said, I haven't had this on that long. You can't tell from this lighting. But let me walk around and see. Um, Sorry if you see any clothes on the floor. But I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to be doing no video. <laughs> Let's see if you can see how light is getting within five minutes. Maybe I can come back and show you what my body look like. I've been going through a lot right now in my life. It's the holidays, money, finances, issues, a lot going on right now. So um, just want to show you what I'm doing currently. All right. Thanks for watching. And I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I have on this scarf to protect my real edges and my real hair because I don't want the bleach to get on my actual real hair. I don't want to do that. So um, that's why I have this scarf on and I did it in sections. So what I did was I sectioned the bottom so it doesn't get the bleach on it because I have to do a different process of lifting this out, the blue, to fade it out to get the color I'm looking for or trying to achieve. And um, I went with this way. So it's already doing this thing. Let's see, my Fitbit will show you. Oh, uh, sorry. Been like 15 minutes already. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out because I wasn't trying to go too blonde. I was just trying to lift up the actual black. And it did exactly what I needed to do in 15 minutes. I don't want to fry my hair, walk around looking like uh, ashy ends. I look crazy. But this is your girl. You can't always look good. All right. <laughs> like I've said before in my videos, I am not a licensed professional. I am not a hairstylist. I just do this because I don't like people in my hair like that. Unless you're my hair um, dresser that sews in my hair, which her name is Rissell. And I don't really like everybody in my hair. So on the top note, this is what it came out to. Round one has been completed. And then now it's time for me to get this out. Like I said, I actually use the Color Charm Lifter up to seven. And I did a 50 volume to get it to color within 15 minutes to this color. And that was just all black. So I'm just trying to ombre something different. And then I'm going to do the bottom, which is my blue. I have to wash it out somehow, fade it out. And I'm going to use that. Um, let me show you. This L'Oreal color remover so this is what i'm going to use to actually and i says all you have to do is warm water i'm going to use this to fade out this right here okay because i'm ready for the blue to change i get bored easy 
more I get bored fast with the vivid colors than I do with just the normal browns and stuff. All right. <laughs> Round one has been completed. Almost done. Not so much. Not really. Gotta get this blue out my hair. Okay. So remember. Oh, sorry. Heat instructions. This is that color. Protect me. And this is me putting this on with the warm water. Look at all the white mess. This is what happens when you're not a professional and you're doing it at home. Homemade. But it's my ghetto homemade version of getting this color lighting. And I put it on, and it may have been on for maybe 10 minutes so far. This is with that packet, warm water, and I add just a little bit of 20 developer, a splash of it. Because I need this process to work for me. And um, you can tell that it, it's, it's fading out a lot from the blue. Ooh, I look so ghetto. I don't care. It is what it is. I hope y'all watching it. It's trying to get this blue out of here. But you can tell I'm trying to get it back to the original color it was. I don't even want to talk. I look. I don't want to look at myself in this video. Can I just not be in it? <laughs> I'm trying to redeem myself because I'm looking crazy. But this is what it looked like. Still trying to pull this blue out. Let's see. Sunlight always helps. You can tell that the original color is trying to come back. I think it was like a 613 or something. I don't know what it was, but it was like a real blonde, blonde. I'm trying to get it out. So yeah, it works. It's only been on here for like 30 minutes now. Color in here is dumb, but it's working. I look crazy, so what? Well, it did pull out that blue from, from Pravana. And now it's just like this color. Like an ashy green. Who is this driving the ball slow behind my house? Get some, go somewhere. If you ain't got no package, don't be just driving all slow and shit. Okay, so this is what it came out to look like. I was going to add some more color corrector to it, but I think I'm over it. So this is what I have. Uh, ashy green. It's like faded, but it did work. So let's see what comes up to the next, my next step here. Well, at least the blue's gone. That was like a dumbass, stale ass, old ass green. Okay, I want to let you guys know this is what I put on my hair when I had actually lifted the blue and it turned out to look scary like Grinch. So I used this color from Sally's. I used this color for when I actually had lifted the color and I had like a highlighted brown. And then I only use the 20 developer. So these are the two colors that I use to achieve the look that I'm gonna show you guys in the next clip. This is what I have to do. I'm gonna get this to fade out. Yes, this blue has to go bye-bye. Color in here is dumb. But it's working. I look crazy. So what? Coloring hair at home, homemade is for suckers. For suckers. But that blue is gone. For suckers. It's like a egg. Well, it colored. There's no more blue. I like it. I'm about to curl it. No more blue. It's gone. So I did my curls. I'm about to comb them out though. Y'all like it? I like it. Remember this used to be blue. Can you believe it? I can't see. Well, thank you for watching. This took a lot of time to get that blue out and to color it the right way without it damaging my real hair. So coloring hair while it's in your hair, it can be a challenge when you're doing it, doing it yourself. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Your girl awesome. And I promise the next video I will give you guys an update on what's going on with my body. 
All right, y'all take care, and I hope the holidays aren't stressing you out. Continue to smile and keep going. Take care.